I'm going to be installing a ring wired spotlight cam. Keep watching the video, I'll show you how I do it. Welcome back. It's Jeff Lepard from JeffLepard.com and on this channel we do do-it-yourself videos, product reviews, vacation videos and much much more. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hey guys, I'm going to be installing a ring wired spotlight cam. So I just picked this up and I'm really excited. I'm going to hook it up and uh, see how it works. So I'm going to see what's inside. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, open it up. This is actually going to be installed at the front of a garage. Okay. Let's put this aside. Okay, so it's nicely packaged. And uh, here's our ring sticker you can put on the uh, door on a glass just to uh, identify that you have a ring product. <clears throat> Okay, so this is the, the ring camera here with a very long cord. Let me just get this out. And of course we have our installation kit. And of course the manual. some uh, brochures <clears throat> so what we're gonna do this actually detaches when we do the install uh, so that we can run it through a wall and then reattach the uh, power line to the uh, camera and of course it's waterproof you can get uh, different colors uh, you can use a black one if you want but uh, for this application I'm gonna use white so the very first step is when you're installing these, you want to actually plug it in and you're going to want to do the setup first so that the camera can actually talk to the router or Wi-Fi in your home network. So that's what we're going to do first. Plug it in, get this thing powered up and get it talking to the router to make sure that uh, it's connected properly to the phone app before we go outside for the installation. So that's our next step. We're just in the room where the router is. So all we have to do is just plug the camera in and then the next step is to open the app, set up a new device and I'll just show you how to do that. So we're just going to plug it in a wall right now to give the, uh, the camera power. Okay, and you can see the, uh, it lights up so you know that it's got power. So now we're going to go ahead and set up the setup process on the Ring app. So we've uh, got our phone now. The ring camera is still flashing blue, which means it's ready to talk to an internet connection. The next thing we just got to do is go into the ring app and set it up. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click on the ring. Okay, we're going to click to set up a device. Okay, and you have your list. And we're going to have security cams. We're going to click on that. Now it's asking to scan the code on your Ring device. You can either scan the box or the back of the device, the camera. You'll see a Mac ID. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and scan that. Okay. So we got it. So now we're going to create a new location and hit continue. So now what you want to do is you just want to fill in where you're actually installing the device. So your country, your street address, city and postal code. So I'm going to start to fill that out. So once you, uh, you put in your address, you're just going to confirm your address to make sure it's correct. Hit confirm. Now we're going to name the uh, device. If you want, you can call it backyard, front, side, or you can choose a, a custom name. For now, I'm just going to call it front. Okay, so it is plugged in. It's just going through the setup. 
And then we're going to hit continue. Please wait a minute for the spotlight cam to enter setup mode, okay? Okay, light is flashing. I'm going to click on that. Spotlight cam is connected to the Ring app. Okay, there we go. So now it's uh, connected and uh, we're on the network. And so now we're uh, we're ready for the uh, we're ready for the uh, install. Spotlight Cam is now connecting to the internet. Just a moment. Rome wasn't built in a day. Your Spotlight Cam is ready to go. With Ring, you're always home. So right now it says it's uh, installing an update as we connected the Ring Cam to the app. So it's just doing an in an update right now. It's now connected, so as you can see on the phone, that's uh, I'm recording myself, so we know uh, that it is talking to the internet, the router. Next step is to go outside and actually install this. I'm just outside where I'm going to be installing the cam. So what I'm going to do is it's actually going to come up to here, but we've got to drill a hole to feed the wire through the top of the garage so that it can reach the power inside. So I actually have to do most of the install from the inside just to get the hole. I'm going to drill from the inside out, but the camera is roughly going to be in this area. But the wire is going to go through the brick. So the next step, we're going inside the garage and we're actually going to do the drilling. I'm just on the inside of the garage now. So actually what I have to do is I need to drill a little bit through the wood in order to get to the, uh, the brick. And I'm going to drill from the inside to the outside. So first I'm using a drill here with um, my wood bit. I'm just going to make a little hole so that I can get my mason bit through there that's going to go through the wall. So I'm going to start punching out this wood right now. So now that the hole in the wood is uh, now made. I'm going to be using this bit here. So I've got a Bosch half inch by 18 inch uh, bit, masonry bit, which is going to allow me to drill through the uh, one foot, I think it's 12 inches, uh, the wall. I need to get to the other side in order for me to run the cable through. So that's the next step. Okay, so we're ready to drill through the masonry, the brick. First thing we need to do in order to feed the power cord through the wall. Now you may not have to do this depending on where you're going to plug or where your outlet is, but uh, there's no outlet on the outside of the house where I'm installing this. So the closest outlet is inside the garage. So I need to feed the cord through the wall. If you have to do this, you're going to have to do a little uh, step further. So what you're going to have to do is take these four screws off here to remove that because you'll have to actually disconnect the power line here so that I can feed this cord through the wall and then reattach it. So that's only if you have to do it. If you don't have to do that, you can skip this step and then start mounting it. Okay, so we're just going to remove this back cover. Now here you'll see, you'll see your neutral wire and you'll see your line wire, which is your uh, live wire, your power wire. So we're going to disconnect these wires and disconnect this piece here so that we can slide this, uh, this wire out of the uh, housing here. So just use a precision screwdriver and uh, just be careful. And um, we're going to disconnect this lead. Okay, don't lose the screws. Just put them somewhere aside. Okay, so this lead is free. And, and same with this one. Next, I'm going to take this P3 
piece off here that's locked this wire into place. Very tiny screws, just be careful not to lose them. second one. I'm just going to pry this up a little bit. Just be careful. There is some silicone there that uh, you will break to get this out. Like that. Okay, so we're just going to twist and pull. Okay, so now the wires are free and clear. Now we can feed this part through the wall and then reattach. So I'm just on the ladder where I made the hole. I'm just gonna start feeding these wires from the inside to the out where we will reconnect it back to the camera. I'm just gonna start feeding the wires back in through the housing of the camera. Okay. Push that through. Okay, and that's now secure. So now I'm going to just do, I'm gonna put this clip that's going to lock, lock it back in place. Oops. Okay. Okay. okay there's one. So now I'm just going to insert the wire back into the position it was in Oops. and screw it in. Now I'm just going to put the mounting plate back on in the same position. This hole was on the bottom and it just clicks right into place and just start screwing your screws back in. Don't over tighten them. You don't want to strip the screws. Just hand tighten. So right now I'm just going to take a pencil and the backing plate which the camera sits on, the housing of the camera locks into place with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the spot where I'm going to install it. So I've chosen this spot here. So I'm just going to mark with a pencil where I'm going to install the camera and then I'm going to drill where I'm going to put the plugs. In the installation kit there's also going to be a masonry bit and this is the exact bit that you need to use if you're installing that in the wall and to push the plugs in and then screw on. So I'm using this that came with the kit and I'm going to start pre-drilling the holes. Don't have to go all the way, I mean you're just putting the uh, plugs in so the plugs that come with the kit, you're only, only going to go in about an inch. I'm just going to take the plugs now, the holes are drilled, and just tap them in gently with the hammer. So now the plugs are in, so we're just going to take the mounting bracket that came with the kit and we're going to screw that onto the wall. The installation kit came with a screwdriver and screws and that's what we're going to use to uh, put the uh, plate back on. So. Okay. so I'm just going to screw them in. I'll tighten it after once I get the screws into place. Okay so we've already done uh, 
our installation of the plate. So we're just gonna lock the camera back into place. Okay, and also in the kit, there is a locking pin. We're going to insert that through the hole. Use the screwdriver that came with the kit and just secure this screw. And that will prevent the camera from coming off the housing. Just hand tight, like so. Right now I'm just gonna tuck some of the wire back through the wall. Still leave it a little bit loose until we're uh, completely done. Now I'm just gonna put the camera, so there's four screws. If you have to adjust them uh, as needed with the mountain plate, then you may do so. What you wanna do is just wanna see if the camera is gonna slide down easily. If not, you may have to loosen these up and just check to make sure your mountain plate is flat. And we've already done that and it is, so this should just lock in the place. So just make sure you get all, uh, all four screws through and you can feel them sink. Then I'm just gonna press down on the camera. Like so, clicked into place. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna adjust the camera to the position I think I want it to be in, and then I can do all the checking with the phone after. And keep in mind, the camera has a very good view, so chances are it's, it's going to be in the, right, the correct position. So I'm gonna leave it right there for now, and I can make any final adjustments later. And you can also use the Allen key, which is or the screwdriver on this side, to tighten it up once you have the final position. So we're back in the inside of the garage. In the kit came with some wire ties with some screws, and you can use them to tidy up the wire so it's not dangling. As you can see, this is dangling off the garage door and it's gonna be in the way. So where we previously drilled through, I'm gonna start by tidying up the wire and keeping it out of the way to make sure that the garage door doesn't snag the wire. So the first one I'm gonna do is right, right at the hole. So what I'm gonna do is just take my drill, my uh, impact gun, I'm just going to, uh, and that looks like a good spot right there. And I'm just gonna screw that in. Okay, so that's nice and snug. I'm gonna continue with that all along. I'm gonna use this wood and bring it right across the uh, side to keep the wire out of the way. Okay, so I just finished doing the wire across the top. I'm going to start using these ties down the side before I can plug in the camera. So I've tidied up the wire, it's nice and tight. Now the only thing left is I just wanna put a little bit of caulking on the inside and the outside of the hole. So right now I've just adjusted the camera in its final position, so I'm just going to use the screwdriver that came with the kit and just give it its final tighten because we're no longer removing the camera. Now the spotlight camera is now secure and not moving. Alright, so we're just going to check the functionality of the spotlight cam. We're going to try turning on the lights. Okay, and the lights do work. Okay, and of course you can sound the siren. It's gonna say, okay, your siren's gonna activate, and we're gonna click yes. And you can shut that off, just like that. So everything's working correctly. You can speak through it. Check, check, check. And you can hear the feedback. So the microphone is working. 
So as you can see, the spotlight cam really gives a good wide view of the street, the front of the driveway, and the house. So the only thing left to do now is set the motion zones. So right now I'm going to set the motion zones. I'm into the camera now, so what I'm going to do is go up here and tap settings. And you're going to scroll down, you're going to see motion settings. I'm going to tap that. You can adjust the motion sensitivity, motion zones, or a schedule. So we're going to click motion zones for now. And uh, it's going to activate your camera. And currently this is the motion zone. So what you do is you just take your finger or whatever and... Uh, we just want what's on the properties of the grass, the green grass. We'll pull that right over to the front. We'll bring this one down. And this one over. We can adjust this later. So this is the zone that we're going to use. We're going to go back. Okay. Sensitivity. Um, we're going to leave it right there. If you find that people are, or animals or squirrels are activating the camera too much, you can always take this and bring the sensitivity level down, or you can raise it up as you need to. So that's it. The wired spotlight cam is now installed. Everything's working correctly. Just want to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bash that bell to turn notifications on for all upcoming videos. Share our video. Give us a thumbs up and like our video. Leave a comment. Let me know what ring products you're using. And we'll see you next time from jeffelpard.com. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.